So one of the things that's happening to me, as I'm using ChatGPT as a professor of education, I'm finding that I have to start to expand my actual capacities into areas which I wasn't very good at. And that's fantastic. It means that ChatGPT is forcing me to learn. And I want to give an example of this. So one of the areas I'm not so great in is in data analysis. Now what you'll see, I've got ChatGPT4, and you'll see that Code Interpreter has come out. Now that's a data analysis program. And there's a plus over here where you can upload a file. And what I've done is I've gone into Kaggle, uh, which is a huge and wonderful place to do data analysis. I registered, and there you can see in education, there's all these sorts of wonderful files which you could actually use and just download. And what I've done is I've downloaded one of these files on human development indexed and components. So there it is. This is what it looks like if you actually open it out in Excel. Uh, I hope that I'm actually registered in it at the moment. And you can see this is the kind of thing which I'd be working with and this would put me off. Looking at a file like this and trying to work with it, I know that you could do it in Excel, but it's hard. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into um, ChatGPT. Uh, here it is over here. And I'm going to go plus upload file. There we go. It says human development index and components. So now let's send it a message and see if it can actually do this. So you saw the Excel spreadsheet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, hey, ChatGPT, please could you make sense of the following document and tell me and tell me what it basically means. Right, so it's a CSV file, it says. To make sense of it, I'll need to load the file. Okay, so it's doing it, it's working. Let's see the work that it's doing. It's importing a panda file. Now I'm assuming that's just to make sense of it. And then you can see it works. And then it says, uh, there's a problem. Uh, some kind of coding. Check at this. It's got a problem and now what it's doing is it's actually solved the problem and now it's going for a summary of what's going on. So let's see what it is. Okay, so it's the human development index. I know, I know what that is. That's basically a measure to see how the whole world, each country, is actually developing and they've got these various categories which they use to evaluate it. Things like life expectancy at birth, expected years of schooling, and now what I want to do is I want to try and see if we can make sense of that, right? So, but let's get ChatGPT to do the work. So let's ask it to do something. Let's send it a message. Um, could you please find four interesting things that are going on in the data and visualize it for me? Okay, so I'm letting it do the work and let's see what it does. Okay, so it's going to find some interesting sites for me. Uh, and let's see what it is. The distribution of the human development index scores across all countries. Okay, that could be interesting. The top 10 countries. The relationship between life expectancy and HDI. Yeah. And the relationship between the gross national income per capita and the HDI. So now it's doing it. Let's see what's going on. So we can actually see it's in Python code at the moment. And what it's doing is it's going through all the, the, the file, the Excel spreadsheet as far as I can tell, and it's starting to link up with things. But now that's just a file that got downloaded from the internet. So it looks like, again, it's coming up with problems. Column names due to presence of extra spaces. Okay, so it says, let's fix it. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's fixing that, right? And now it continues after it's fixed it. It's doing the coding for me. And to be honest, I've tried to do coding once or twice, and I've really struggled with the time investment that comes in with it. Um, and now it looks like there's an issue now with some non-numeric values in the gross national income one. I suppose that's because those values might have been low, medium, high or something. So they've got to replace those values or those names with numbers, I suppose to make it so that they can do the analysis. So I've asked to see the coding again, and there I can see what it's doing is it's trying to work out some insights, like the relationship between 
life expectancy and it's come across another error and now it's doing some visualizations for me okay well um this is certainly easier for me than trying to do an analysis myself of the um, file set so here are the visualizations for the four insights we've drawn from the data okay so let's see what's going on over here it's got some plots okay so we've got a hdi score on the one side and the frequency and what we can see is we can see this big bunching around the 0708 thing okay that makes sense to me so it would be quite interesting to do that historically and see what happens um, and then over here we've got the top 10 countries uh, switzerland norway iceland okay those kinds of countries mostly in europe uh, then we've got a relationship between life expectancy and HDI, right? That's quite interesting on the one side. You can see that the higher your HDI, the higher life um, expectancy is. It's a very clear um, curve. And that's, that's good. Okay, so it's done that. But now, the thing is, I'm working with uh, South Africa. So I'd be very interested to see how South Africa relates to this international picture. So let's, let's ask about South Africa. Could you please do an analysis of South Africa and compare its results to the rest of Africa? And here we go. Um, it's now going to do that. Sure, it says huh, we can do this. Let's first identify the countries in the data set that are Africa. Okay, so that's quite cool. Then we'll examine South Africa's HDI, life expectancy, years of schooling and GNI, and compare those metrics to the African country. So let's see how it's doing it. Okay, so what has it done in code? It's listed the African countries. It's created a data frame for the countries. And it's run into, why is that in red? Has it run into a problem? No, it's presenting me with... Um, a, a set of codes okay so south africa in relation to the hdi ranking human life expectancy seems to be i mean human development is higher south africa has a better hdi rank compared to other african countries so it means that we better we better i say south africans in terms of human development and then life expectancy at birth the life expectancy at birth is lower right so now that doesn't make sense Let's, let's see if we can get it to make sense of that. Why would South Africa's life expectancy at birth be lower than the African countries, but somehow its development index is higher? That doesn't make sense to me. Let's see what it says, All right? Because it doesn't make sense to me. So this kind of thing where you're working across it, let's see. Oh, thank you very much. It's insightful. Hey, I'm a beginner. So it's composite. It's made up of several things. So it doesn't solely depend on life expectancy. Okay, I get that. Um, but what I'd now want to do is interrogate this. But anyway, I think you've got the point that what we have here is we have me having to learn how to do data analysis in a way where I don't know much about it. But as long as you just give it a go, it's going to start to teach you the stuff. That's what makes ChatGPT so exciting for me. Because I'm an old male professor who's stuck in his ways. And all of a sudden, I've got this space where I can be absolutely idiotic. And it's going to help me learn this stuff. It's absolutely fantastic.